Welcome everybody back to Final Fantasy 16 and I'm excited to be back because I have put all of my time and effort into replaying and reliving through Red Dead Redemption. So let's get back into Final Fantasy 16. I think this is going to be one of those games in all honesty that I go back to remember as being one of the best games on this generation of consoles because I cannot remember I've brought this up so many times at this point. I cannot remember the last time where a game from from the beginning to the end, or I guess halfway point, or maybe a little bit halfway point, where the game, I, I was sucked into the game the entire time. But let's get back into it. We are going to, um, let me go. We are going to the hideaway. So let's go back. Let's go back. Why? My cat is yelling at me Let's because go. I just realized what time it was. It's almost feeding time for the animals. All right. Speak to Gav. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hello, Gav. Ah, the one-eyed. One-eyed Gav. Where's my report? Missed you too, my friend. What no kind words be ruled, pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. <laughs> so, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Time to get it going, man. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. A shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh?
Auto's counter is now open. New facilities, Alliant reports, the Patron's Whisper, and the Hunt Board. Got it. What are we waiting for? Indeed. Uh, okay, so journey to Hoth to Hawk's Cry Cliff. We have a. I might go pick up this uh, side quest down here. Really. Oh wait, we got a couple. How many do we have? Let's take a peek. Uh, let's do. Uh, hold up a second here. Okay, so that's that. Nope. Go back. There we go. Okay, so we have oh side quest all the way over there. Um, okay, so let's go back this way. I at least want to pick up the side quest. That way we can just knock them out on the way. Or through our journeys, we can pick these up. Okay, am I going the correct way? I think it's all right to touch him. Why do we still not have a sprint button? Or do we and I just don't know what it is? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This, is a, this is a cool little home base. Alright, is that... Yep, here we go. See, I, I am, uh, was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just... Well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. I'll take them some fruit. Nice Why not? Bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Martell apples? He's finally the day. Quest accepted. We'll take it. Okay. Um, deliver the apples to the hideaway's curse breakers. Got it. And that's, yeah, that's the one that we're currently on. Okay, got it. I mean, the good thing about these side quests... I might have. They uh, they don't take that long to actually accomplish. I mean, I, I can guarantee once I just go to this next location and give this person the apples, the quest is completed and done. Well, which Sid? Me, Sid, or the actual Sid? <laughs> what kind of jump is this? Here you go. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. There you go, my friends. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Cool, she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. 
Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. You are welcome. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Was it just these two? Whole basket. Me. These take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, made Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. We have to go back down. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh. And uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. What? That room's as ragged as Side quests, for the most part, are like they're just always so peaceful. If, if is that the right word to use? Nope. Super easy, quick. Someone's always typically happy at the end of them. Man, I, I have got to say, man, I mean, playing through these games, um, it, it has opened my eyes to so many more games that I want to play. There, because there's a lot. All right. Hello, my friend. Curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martell. They remembered her. A after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martell. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her, and now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. Laura, not be kind to you. Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martell. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Quest complete. Right, I think there was one more side quest. The fruit of her labors. 600 gold for that and we got an apple multiple apples okay journey to hawks crycliffe i know we have another side quest right but that's all right we'll just um we'll do that one later we the all these areas are still blocked off I, we have done a pretty good job of keeping up with the side quest, so we don't have a bunch to do at the end of the game. Southern Rosaria. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. 
I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. Bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? <clears throat> Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Oh, I did not want to have to fight these things. Not because they're hard to fight, but I just, I want to get to my location. Get him, Torgo. You know, if this power didn't take as long to recover from it, I feel like I would. That, that could be very. Wait, what am I doing? I have. Wait, can I use. Uh, yeah, I have the chocobo that I can use. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists! Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just... Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. Speak with several of the villagers. How do you like that, boy? Anybody have something to say? There we go. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. 
The black shields. Just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was the black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arsene of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Okay, make for port... Port? I... I saw the... Hmm. Okay, so we have to... It's this way. Chocobo? Hello, my friend. Come on. I mean, what are these? Are these two just gonna have to walk while I use this? Yeah. Oh no, they have one as well. Okay. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the Apollo tree, we've seen more and more of these. Got places to be, my friends. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals collapse. More of my mother's men. I do kind of want to take those these guys out though. Just because they're our mother's men, and I hate. We hate our mom. We hate our mother. Then all of them. Where's my chocobo? Here we go. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. Take it we can't just jump down. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Where do we where are we oh wait, here we go. Goodness gracious, these things are a little hard to control in tight spaces. 
Nope. Goodbye. Can we just do our thing, please? Without always being attacked. It's all this blood. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. Yeah. I don't know what you the big know who we are. what the big deal is about these guys. You would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you yeah. Let's get out the weak ability first. Yep, goodbye. With having these three, I, I take it there's going to be a fourth at some point. But it's so overpowered to have this many freaking power-ups. Goodbye. Whew. I don't think I used the the charged up arrow for this one. Where the hell did this guy go? There we go. <laughs> that one final little tiny hit. What are our spoils? 100 gold, 40 XP. Got it. Some materials. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why you? Why you? Bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Defeat the Black Shields. A lot of dead people. Mother's a real piece of work. But why? Why would 
anyone. I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... She's an evil woman. Oh, Clive. I will learn what madness drives her. And I will end it. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it... ...far south, they may already be in Port So many bodies. I don't know if I could still use my chocobo here, but we can. They're approaching you at bridge. No, I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Fly, Ambrosia. That'll do, girl. Can't take one through here? This is their home. So much death and destruction because of one insane woman. Come on. Alright, this should just be right around this rock formation here. to this place my mother happened the nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance I told my uncle fared better <laughs> that's the main gate <laughs> that is that run so awkward to get in. so awkwardly They're all about to get slaughtered. Easily just take them all out. Why aren't we doing that? Let's kill them. Let these people rush in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built. So that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Black light burns. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for.
Hello. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. It's been completely overtaken. Ten spools of st what did that say? Steel silk. Take it all. This is going to be locked. Not abandoned then. Oi, visitors! Oi. We'll show ourselves out. We're not gonna fight them, are they? They just look like peasants. Why are we fighting them? Oh, they're bandits. That's why. Let's take out the, the wizard in the back here. The game is really easy, but the enemies just take so many hits. Take so many hits to kill them. It's kind of crazy. 350 gold, 60 XP. We'll take it. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And you know who it is. Dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Of the Phoenix. That was close. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Uh. You were there when I died? Forgive me. Did we just kill these people for no reason? You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. Sir Wade. Wade? <laughs> we can speak inside. Yeah, pick up your dead friends. God, I have like something in my eye. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only Why did that so just much randomly a pop up? of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense, even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. That's because your father was still alive. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. 
She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. <laughs> With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. All right, let's go. Then let's hope so. Uh, speak with Wade. You'll show them as much mercy as they Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> so wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. All right, black or white, let's prioritize prioritize this quest. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who will keen to uh who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Okay. All right, guys, I actually think that this might be a pretty good place to pause it now that we have a new companion on board. Um but man, this game, it's just so good. I don't exact, I feel like we still have a pretty good amount left, which I am happy about. Cause I just, I want to keep this thing. I want to keep this game rolling. Um, we probably don't have much left on Red Dead Redemption. We probably have still a lot left on Metal Gear Solid. And we still probably have a good, uh, a, a few hours left on Red Dead. But there's a few games that I have in mind that I want to play after these series, but I do want to wrap these up first and spend... Well, we have Gears of War as well, so we have five series going on right now. Um, there are two series that I'm currently probably just going to cancel and not do anymore on this channel. And 
That is Street Fighter 6. And I, I, I know, I'm sorry if any of you wanted to watch that series and watch me play through it, but I was never really a fighting game fan. I wanted to pick it up because I heard it had a pretty good story mode, but I personally just, I, I, I can't get into it. And to be entertaining, I have to, I have to thoroughly enjoy the games that I'm playing. I gave it four videos, so I, I've probably played about four or five hours of it. Maybe, maybe only, I only gave it three videos. Maybe even two. How many? I don't even remember how many videos I actually ended up putting up on the channel, but I'm, I just can't get into it. I it, it's a really it's a cool game, but it's it's I've I've never played Street Fighter before, so it was a little cheesy, and I don't know. I just something about it. I I just couldn't get into it. But that that's that's about it. That's just all it really is. And it may it might be because I really haven't played. Uh, fighting games in my life. I played Mortal Kombat as a as a kid on the Nintendo 64, and that's really about it. But I mean, that's one series I'm gonna take out. And then Dredge might be another one that I just <coughs> <coughs> getting parched over here. Dredge might be another one that I just cut off as well. Um, there's a lot. Why I'm doing that in Dredge? is because there's a lot of downtime in the game and there's not really much happening. A lot of it is just fishing and, you know, scavenging and trying to find items. It's a really good game and it's a game that I'm going to continue to play and beat. But to me, it's just not really a game meant for the YouTube platform. Unless like I streamed it maybe. And I'm just, it's like a chill stream that we sit back and play for a couple hours. But there's only so much you can do in the time frame that I want to record videos in in that game. Um, but that's all we got so far. We have two main quests right now that we're going to knock out in the next video. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go record a couple more videos. This is the first of the day, but I'm going to go knock out a few. We're getting really close to Gears of War. Um, I think we might have maybe an hour left, if that. But that and red dead are the two shortest games that i have right now the rest are very very long i don't know why i did this to myself but that's okay we'll get them knocked out but i am done i have talked too much so until the next one peace out